guys see you TTV. So I wanted to tell you guys a little bit about my experience during the coronavirus crisis. So I live in the Netherlands, in Europe, and since the beginning of the crisis, a couple of things have changed. In the very beginning, uh, most of the cases were confined to the southern provinces of the country, and I live in the middle of the country, so I wasn't that affected. I was still able to maintain my routine, going to training, um, I traveled to training by public transportation on the train um, and that went on for about a week and then in the second week uh, all sports facilities and gyms were closed so uh, at that point they made some special allowances for professional athletes, elite athletes to train um, with some specific rules in place to include having to shower once you arrive on the premises, having to you know enter the training hall with a different set of clothes, um, and you could only be there for two hours maximum at a time, and you had to be out of the building as soon as those two hours were up. So we did that. We followed those rules for about a week, and then after it was announced that the Olympic Games would be postponed, um, all of those rules were then nullified and we were no longer allowed to use any of the facilities. So from that point I've been training at home. Um, yeah, I do some of my workouts here in the house and then others we try to do outdoors in places far away from other people like near the forest or near a lake that's kind of close to the house. Um, yeah, in general we just try to maintain social distance because that's being taken very seriously here. Um, you can be fined if you're found in a group of more than three people uh, of which are not from your household um, and the police are on patrol constantly. If you go into the city, they are there by bike, on foot, on horses, all the time. So people are taking that very seriously. If you're walking on the sidewalk and someone is coming towards you, they will go all the way into the street just to ensure that that distance is maintained. Um, restaurants are closed, but they're still doing delivery and takeaway. Barbershops, hairdressers, shops, etc. are all closed. All non-essential services are closed. Um, and all non-essential workers are working from home or not at all. So that at supermarkets, they require that you get a trolley. Um, I think this is to maintain the distance between you and other customers. It's also to limit the amount of people to that can be in the store at a time. And for the people who are waiting outside, they have lines to separate how far you should stand between yourself and the next customer ahead and behind you. They also do that at the farmer's markets on the weekends, which they have maintained um, because the government deems those to be essential to provide food for the community. Um, those are basically the majority of the measures that have been put in place. All schools are closed, um, daycares, kindergartens, etc. Um, yeah, that's, that's, that's basically about it. So we're just adjusting as much as possible. This is a big holiday season in the Netherlands right now, um, but the government has issued a lot of notices to people to stay in place, you know, don't travel. Uh, so the Dutch are making quite a few adjustments from their what they would normally be doing at this time of the year um, to adjust, yeah. So I hope that everyone at home is doing the same. I hope that this doesn't last very long, but in the meantime, you know, just, just follow the instructions that we have been given. It's for the best for all of us, um, for your friends and family. Um, for yourselves just you know stay home stay indoors find something new to do make a new hobby um, for me I've been baking quite a bit I'm taking that up as a fun thing to do and I'm sure that everyone else you can find something to fill the time as well and before we know it we'll be we'll be out of this stronger than we went to.